Hi, Karina here, your Lucid Living Coach. Happy Labor Day, September 4th. I hope you guys are all having fun in the sun and getting up that last vacation days that you have of summer. So, Labor Day, how did it even come into existence? It's to help American workers. American labor movement helped assist all the workers in America, including the president at the time, Grover Cleveland. Um, that actually officialized Labor Day as a national holiday. Is that a real word? Officialized? Well, it is to me. It all started to help make labor associates get shorter hours, better pay, and safer work environments. Oregon actually was one of the first states to consider it a holiday in 1887. Funny that the American eclipse went over that state this year. Also, um, our planet Neptune was discovered in 1840, around the same time that the circus got popular, which was crazy because it rules that Pisces, circus the magical, illusionistic type energy. As I'm looking at the astrology chart for today, I see a huge Kite. Kites are very rare. The energy could be kind of hard, but in turn it's very positive. So the kite is involving the moon sextiling Saturn and Uranus, Saturn trining Mars and Mercury, as well as Uranus trines Mars and Mercury. So the moon also is opposing Mars and Mercury because Mercury and Mars are so close together. So we can be very moody, we can be short tempered. So try not to take it out on people around you or in your home. Seriously. Teddy. Come Teddy. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, because the opposition with Mercury and the moon, it rules domestic disputes. So Avoid any kind of deep, important, emotional type discussions. You know, Teddy, I really think it's about time that you start pulling your weight around here. Maybe you start doing, helping with the dishes, scooping your own poop, maybe rolling the hair off the couch. All you're doing is just running around making messes. Also avoid test taking. I am so excited to take this test. Once I pass this test, I'm going to just be amazing. I got the results back. I didn't pass. I'm not going to be amazing. And cars may break down, so don't go on any long trip. Dude, are you guys so excited to go to Disneyland? I am. Oh, no. Oh, no. Or just break down. Um, schedules might be behind. So take that in consideration in your planning for today. So pretty much anything that has to do with travel. Travel mishap. So getting from point A to point B. So accidents or car breakdowns or maybe just keep an eye on your gas gauge because some people can run out of gas. Moon is conjunct the south node, and emotions are could be confused. And the best way to deal with this transit is to use the emotions to launch you forward instead of the fears keeping you stuck in the past. This energy can be very challenging. You have to work a little extra hard during these times to keep things afloat. If the conflict cannot be resolved, it will potentially be a hard thing to get back up from. There are hard lessons to learn here this week, but ultimately it will be a positive shift and a better outcome than you expected. Emotions are high, so don't take it out on other people and things around you. 
It's better to, to make decisions when you feel more clear. Most likely, it'll be a good day for Sagittarius, Capricorn, and Aquarius. An adverse day, most likely for Virgo, Gemini, and Aries. This Labor Day Monday, so y'all be safe out there. All right. Don't forget to click my links below and like my videos and subscribe to my channel. And if you feel like sharing, that would be great. And if you like, make a little comment. I always like little nice comments. All right, guys, make it a great Labor Day. Peace out.